so guys this is our big pot of goat's meat stew you can see how fine the face of this stew is looking and this stew can go with hot rice it can go with boiled yam fried yam plantain and you can even use this stew as your jollof base it will be so so nice it's that time of the year when we want to try something good for our families. So today I'm going to cook a big pot of goat meat stew. It's not all the time chicken, chicken, chicken and chicken. Try this goat meat stew and you so love it. You can prepare it in bulk like I'm doing now and use it throughout the festive season. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's still Benny of Benny's Kitchen. Hi everyone, doing this with my doing so great. So today, I want you guys to join me, let us prepare this pork goat meat stew that is so, so yummy. So guys, let's start cooking. So you can see I'm using this big pot. I said I'm going to prepare pork stew. They are using goat's meat. So this is the goat's meat, it has been thoroughly washed. Now I'll add in onions or add in bouillon cube, some salt. Then of course this is my green herb. I have a video where I showed this green herb making. This herb is so good, it flavors your food very very well and it takes it to another level. So we're using it, it contains ginger, garlic, fresh thyme fresh rosemary and all the greens you can think of. You can also make yours at home. So I'll be adding two of it because this two is so much. Then I'll be adding some curry powder. And this is all I'll be using to season this goat meat. But you can add any season of your choice. So I'll take you to the heat now. Let it start boiling with its own water before I add some uh, water to it. So my people, for the tomatoes, you see what I'm going to do. When I want to use my tomatoes for my stew, I normally boil it before I blend or I roast it. But today I'm going to be boiling because this again takes your stew to another level. So what I'm going to do, I'll just cut all of them open. I always cut it open because some of them might be bad inside. So when you open like this, you know that it is uh, good. And it's a bad one, then I discard it. Some people take out the seed, but I don't take out the seed. So now I'll just start cutting them open like this. So guys, you can see I'm done cutting the tomatoes into two. So now I'll pour in. So in here I have my peppers, I have my um, Attaché, red pepper. You can see I've taken out the seed because if you don't do that, you still might get bitter. So I took them out. Then I have some shombo, which is the fresh kind of pepper. I'm not going to take out the seed or put them like that. Then I have scotch bonnet pepper. Then I have this yellow pepper. I always like using this yellow pepper because it gives my soup or my stew this scintillating flavor. So I always use it when I'm preparing my stew or my soup. Then I have the onions washed. I'll just pour everything inside the pot and then let it boil down. Here I have ginger and garlic. They will also boil with the pepper and the tomato. So now I'm done with this one. I'll take it to the gas, let it start cooking while I add some water into the pot of goat meat that is boiling. So you can see that the goat meat is already boiling and the aroma is already covering my whole kitchen. You can see it came out with some juice. So now I'll just add in some water for it to keep boiling. You know, goat meat takes a lot of time to boil, so this will boil for like 40 minutes. But I learned that the male goat boils faster and softer, and then the female goat takes time to boil. And I asked the goat man, the man I was buying the goat meat from, I said, I want the male goat so that he can boil so, so fast. So this is what I have here and in the next 40 minutes will be done. So guys, this is 40 minutes I've been cooking this goat meat and I tested it and it is cooked so I'll pour them out now so I can start to fry. 
you can either fry the meat or use your air fryer for this but i'm going to be frying mine in my oil because i want to use the flavored oil for my stew so now i just turned out the meat from the pot i'll allow the pot to dry then i'll pour in some oil then i'll fry the meat so the oil is hot now i'll be adding in this onions thyme fresh thyme and garlic this is for more flavors so now i'll add in the meat and let it start frying until it is golden brown so this is the boiled tomatoes i had to pour it in here for it to cool down before i start blending so i'll just blend everything now you have to allow it to cool down a bit so you don't spoil your blender people you can see how smooth it is very very smooth like um, tomato paste so i'll just pour them out i won't be pouring out everything because i'm going to be adding some more so i can use it to blend instead of adding water into this place So guys see what we have here the meat is ready well fried so I'll take them out and fry the remaining so guys I'm done frying the um, goat meat and I'm using the same oil because the oil is so flavored and to give your stew a very very good um, flavor so now it's hot and I'll pour in my onions and saute it. Allow it to fry very well, like for three minutes. As you are frying the onions, it is releasing more flavors into the oil. I bet you this our good meat stew is going to be so so amazing and it can go with hot rice pasta roasted yam fried yam and boiled yam and even roasted plantain it can go with it so if you are preparing white rice this christmas just try this goat meat stew So after frying the onions like this, I'll add in the tomato paste. Allow it to fry until they separate from one another. Just keep stirring it. Stirring it until they all separate and you see how it looks like. And again, we are fine very well to remove that um, tangy taste that will slap you when you are eating if it's not well fried. Guys, this is three minutes since I've been frying this and you can see how the tomato paste is looking. You can see how it is bubbling. And this is how you know that it is okay so I'll now add in our blended tomato, uh, tomato pepper mix. And for this stew, you, you have to be generous with your cooking oil. We are not boiling the tomatoes, but we are frying. So after frying or after cooking your stew and the oil is too much, you can now take it out and then use it for something else. I tell you, if you remove the excess oil in your food and use it for something else, it is so so delicious
so guys this is our big pot of goat meat stew you can see how fine the face of this stew is looking and this stew can go with hot rice it can go with boiled yam fried yam plantain and you can even use this stew as your jollof base it will be so so nice so my people i told you i'll be taking my goat meat stew with hot rice so this is my hot rice and i'm pairing it with my avocado salad you can see i'm doing portion control you can see the rice is so small the vegetable is much so now i'll add my stew man this stew is looking so so amazing try this this festive season and you thank me later wow i can't wait to dive into this Get your spoon. Ooh, so so hot. Hmm, hmm, so so yummy. Hmm. Just try this. This festive season, and thank me later. If you have watched up to this moment, thank you so very much. Keep watching my videos and I will see you in my next. Bye-bye.